Well, this is one of the larger Longyhorn beetles. I found it um, on the footpath outside a restaurant in Cromer last night and uh, rescued it before someone mistake, mistook it for a cockroach. And I thought I'd take a couple of photographs um, of it. It's got its genitalia extended here um, and uh, we can see aspects of its beak there. It's alive and kicking and I'm just going to turn it over. It's got fairly large bites. It's a member of the, the borer family, so there we, there we are there. But you can see why I rescued it, because it could easily be mistaken for a cockroach by some people. I mean, there are major differences, but anyway, that's a, a beautiful brown beetle. And it's called a longyhorn beetle. And there are many species of longyhorn beetle in Australia. This is one of the larger ones that we find around Sydney. It's um, not one that I see very often. I, I seem to find it about once every four or five years, but then I'm not out there looking for them particularly either. It's a um, the larvae are borers of eucalypts, and you're most likely to find this one under the bark of gum trees during the day. I was obviously out looking around. There you are, a bit towy. And um, I'll show you how to pick up. These ones can bite, but they're not likely to hurt you. But a lot of people are afraid of insects, and there's no need to be frightened of them if you understand them. And um, I think they're amazing creatures. So if I'm picking up this one, I'll just pin it by the, the wings here and hold it by the, the front part of the wings. And then we can see doesn't like being held obviously it thinks it's about to be eaten or whatever and it's opening its mouth ready to bite and we can change our grip there and slide our our nail up up to there and um, you can maybe able to get an idea of it uh, a closer look at it that way so um, If it latches on, yes, depending on where it latches on, how much it hurts. But uh, it's not these beetles don't, or beetles don't sting as um, full stop. And, um, quite an amazing beetle, but you can hold them that way. Um, you see these big eyes there. Um, I'm just recording with a little Lumix camera. Lumix underwater camera. They're amazing creatures. Beautiful creatures anyway. I'm just going to let him go for a moment. And we'll let him relax and send him calm. And um, send her calm. And go from there. So if you're being gentle, you're not likely the beetle or wasp or anything is not likely to um, uh, try and bite you or try and sting you if you send them calm, peace and love they respond to that as do birds, as to all of us given a little bit of time and circumstance the most beautiful creation and um, We'll be putting this one back up, up on the eucalypt or gum tree, finding him a home and um, wishing him well, hoping that he um, finds a mate before life is over. We're ready for the next generation. There you are, I'm resting my finger against his mouth and he's not trying to bite me. I'm just showing you. All right, well, Hope you've enjoyed that little clip and uh, keep coming back to youtube.com user slash Dr. Ross Perry, the O C T O R R O W S P E W R Y. And that will give you links to various other websites if you're interested in seeing and learning more. Until next time. Ciao.